in being yourself, you're going to have to follow some principles. And when it comes down to it, when it comes down to these three things, those to me are the most important of, of all of this. You know, and it, when you walk away from the convention, you start meeting and connecting, interacting with people, uh, whether it's with a girlfriend or whether it's whatever kind of sexual life you want, uh, this is going to be the most important stuff to think about. And right here, with kind of like my concepts and philosophies towards stuff, this is sex. And sex is simply an action. Sex is an action. We all know what it is. Um, you know, you hook up with somebody and uh, you connect in all sorts of different ways. And it can happen in all sorts of different ways. But it's simply an action. And many times, what happens is, is we start to define ourself, our, our person, our entire being, which would end up being the sexuality, purely by our actions towards sex. Now, seduction, the next one here, is a process, OK? So that's everything before, that's everything during, that's everything after. And in fact, it's, you don't even need to be having sex to allow seduction to happen. And uh, that's, that's something that confuses people all the time. Uh, and sexuality is the result of all this. So really simply, an action, the process, and the result. Now, what's important about this is last, last year, before the Sweden convention, I was in Austin, where my buddy Jason Savage lives. And he came to the convention. He did a preview speech of what the convention would be. And I videotaped a bunch of it and videotaped this stuff afterwards. And I was like, man, this is. And I've seen Jason speak many times. In fact, the, the story goes, uh, he came and saw me speak years and years and years and years ago in Austin. And uh, he came up to me afterwards, and he was like, you know, talking about himself, talking about himself and what was going on. And then he said, uh, he, then he said his name, Jason Savage. I'm like, oh, man, I've heard about you. You slept at my buddy Dave's house and blah, 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 blah. And he remembered it was, this, it was this great thing. And then about a year after that, he called me up. And uh, the guy's kind of a reclusive dude. He called me up, and he said, man, you know, I've gone through whatever shit. And everybody goes through highs and lows. And he, he was saying, I've gone through a, a lot of shit, and everything in the community is just, like, totally fucked up. I want to I wanna be doing the stuff that you're doing. The stuff that you're saying that I'm reading about is, is what I want to be doing. So when can we talk? And basically what happened was I came down to Austin, saw him speak, and he gave a speech about like arousal and, and desire and all this crazy shit. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck, man? <laughs> like, you're, you're the guy that I want to listen to. And every time that guy spoke, it was like I tried to soak in as much as possible. And... Uh, he came back from his Europe trip in October, and I picked him up from the airport, and he was staying at my, uh, I hooked him up with a place to stay with uh, my buddy's house, and he said, man, uh, look, number one thing is I agree with you now, man. The community is like fucking up people's lives, which he never really said before. And, uh, and, and I asked him why, and he's like, because it has nothing to do with sexuality. It has nothing to do with what people are doing and how they're presenting themselves, how they're putting themselves out there in the world, how they're asserting themselves, how they're connecting, how they're, how they're loving women and appreciating women. And he brought up a few things. He said, uh, he said, man, you know, as simple as this, like guys stay in the community and they stay in that kind of like pickup mindset and they, they ultimately will go nowhere. They'll get good at getting attention, they'll get good at making friends, and they'll get good at not being themselves, all right? And ultimately they'll, end up being angry and worse off and all this other crazy stuff. And he said, if somebody is not being sexual, right, if they're not asserting their sexuality, then they need to get sexual as quick as possible. So what does that mean? 